three, two, one. <laughs> You're very excited, aren't you? <laughs> so this is okay. I just want to spoil it. You just want to spoil it. Well, let let's spoil it. Let's not spoil for the listeners. Let's introduce ourselves first, shall we? Hello, I am Movit, and this. Cheeky bird. I can fly. You can fly. You sound like you can fly. And um, this is uh, Movit Media and Gaming House at Code UK. We are here with another tech review for you. It's a daddy daughter tech review. We've decided, after the much success of our um, Twitch gaming series, we're going to start doing reviews together because then you get uh, a tech expert's point of view and you get a child's point of view. Because children, as we know, are notoriously honest, aren't, aren't they, Cheeky Parrot? You just say as it is. If you don't like something, you'll just go, yeah, this is rubbish. And if you like something, you'll go, oh, it's amazing! <laughs> like that. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> yeah? I'm just so We have got an awesome thing ready for you. But first, these messages. I'm Kerry. I'm Jada's mum. Jada is almost nine has always wanted to play computer games, but never been able to. Jada's um, got cerebral palsy and finds fine motor skills very difficult, so the hand controls are extremely difficult. She's now got switches, um, a large switch for the main jumping and shooting, and um, and then the smaller switches and joysticks, which is good for her fine motor skill because she has to use a joystick. And we're back, thank you for sticking with us. I am again, I am Movit. This is Cheeky Parrots, and we're here with a lovely tech review. A tech review reviewed by a seven year old. Yes, because, and there's a reason she's so excited, because this is actually an unboxing, the tech review comes later. That is in the description below if you're watching this a couple of days after we've recorded this. But we went to the Gadget Show live, didn't we? True fact! True fact indeed. Um, and we made uh, a lovely video of this very bit of tech. And you can watch that if you want to by clicking on, on Cheeky Parrot's face. <laughs> no? Well, they can't see your face now, the video is in front of you. Okay, click on my face. There we go. Because as you can see, we were at the Philips stand and we saw an amazing piece of technology which was basically a projector which can... Kind of, should I get rid of this thing off my face first? There's a, there's a video in front of my face, should I get rid of it? Yeah. You can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's go. There you go, and it's gone. Now, we saw a short throw projector, didn't we? Yeah, it's, it's quite small. It's quite small. And it's, it's quite cool. Because instead of lacking pumps or whatever, you want a screen on the wall over here, you have to mount it on the wall over here. This thing, you put it even 10 centimetres away from the wall on the floor, and it puts a huge screen up on the wall, doesn't it? More than 100, well, 100 or 50. 100 inches, yeah. Or 50. Or 50. So if it's 10 centimetres away, it's 50, a 50 inch screen. And if it's about 40 centimetres away, 44 centimetres away, you get a 100 inch screen, ladies and gentlemen, for your gaming needs. And she's, I, where, well, I, I don't know where it is. The box hasn't appeared. <laughs> oh, give us a fanfare, cheeky parrot. It's a video! <laughs> yes. We're going to try and keep this edited in here, but hopefully you can still see us down there. Hi! Um, so, this is an unboxing of the Philips Screenio Smart LED Projector. Um, I'll, I'm going to switch to um, stick cam right now, so you can see that a bit around the box, so you know what you're getting. Yay! Yay! First we get the <laughs> guinea pigs. <laughs> mango! That's mango. Now, and that's all my film mango. equipment. It's very, very, it's very untidy in Gamer Dad's basement right now. Here we are. Cheeky parrot. Hello. Right, so this is the screenio. Uh, get the big picture, Philips. Smart LED projector. Around here, 
We have got Watch It Babe, Watch Your Movies, blah 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 blah. Now it's hard to get it in a focus. Really there, boring thing. It is. That people like to see the boxes for some reason, Cheeky Parrot. There's all your legal gubbins. Scoop mind your head, please, Cheeky Parrot. There you go. And of course, the main thing, as you just said, uh, Cheeky Parrot, is it's 3D! Awesome. Anyone that doesn't know the tech, uh, to play 3D Blu ray, you need a 3D. And you need a 3D Blu-ray player, yeah? Uh -huh. Now, if you haven't got both of those, it won't work. This basically counts as a 3D TV, which if you've got a 3D Blu-ray player, or what have I got in there? In the in the in the Game of Dad's basement? Oh we have got and Xbox One! Xbox One. I've and, played Bevel 2. Yes, and Xbox One does play 3D Blu-rays after the latest update. So you plug the Xbox One into here. Um, and you can watch all your 3D Blu-rays in lovely cinema quality. Yummy! Should we get this thing open? <laughs> right, let's do this thing! You gonna help me? Go stand on the, the sort of kneel up on the chair so we can see. Right, so inside the packaging we have more packaging. Inside the packaging is probably more packaging. More packaging, yes. So we need to get this here. Now, what do we need to open this? Scissors. Yes, and well, what do you we... have to be safe and point them at the bottom of your toes. So when using knives or scissors, everybody knows to always point them down at your toes. Exactly, right. So in here You're a rhymer. I am a rhymer, but I actually pilfered that from um I think it was Nina and the Norons. Nina and the Norons. Yes. Because she We saw her on holiday once, didn't we? Which was pretty cool. Did we video? Um, no, we didn't. But we did video Mummy dressed as Angelina Jolie doing dancing to the Venga dance. Oh yeah. Didn't we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Inside the box, when you open it up, you get all your usual gubbins from Philips right here. And packaging again. And more packaging again. We have got a remote control, which is a pretty cool remote control. With, with some batteries at the back. With some batteries at the back. Always important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So you don't need to buy batteries, right? I need these batteries. Indeed, because we've all menus and things like that. We will show you how to work that later on. You get, uh, I've got a plug. Always handy if you want to, your, your gadgets to work. Yes. Yes. So, but, plug. Do you want to hold the plug? It's okay. very hurty if it's plugged in, but it's not now. No. That's fine. Agreed. Um, we have got. A HDMI cable for plugging into your TV or your Xbox. We're definitely plugging into the Xbox. There you go. Again. And we have got... More packaging! Ah, but what is inside this packaging? Oh, I know what's inside glasses. this packaging. It is a pair of 3D glasses. 3D glasses. Oh no, it's only two. Right. We have been told, reliably told by Philips when we actually went to see this thing that you, the, these are just the standard Philips 3D glasses. So you, if you go to any um, hardware store or um, you know shop in town, you can actually buy more pairs of these. These are the active 3D glasses. So you need to plug them in to charge them up, and it does make better 3D. Right, oh, cheeky yeah, parrot, yeah. are you going to help me with this packaging? You lift it up for me. There we go. Some more packaging. We get some more packaging. And inside this packaging it's is an improvement, ladies and gentlemen, right there. If you look at the camera, yes. Or would you prefer that view? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is very messy because, um, as I say, we're normally on a big set, aren't we? And uh, it, it's it's the school holidays, so we're actually in the Game of Dad's basement. Uh, this is the only place that's big enough for the for the box that we're using, isn't it? And then you get the screenio itself in a lovely little carrier bag. Ta-da! Ta-da, indeed. Let's have a look. And we're back. Um, so, we finally got rid of the box, and this huge box, but to be fair, what's the good thing about the box that I noticed, or I think anyway? You can take it to work. Well, there is, but there's all. I mm. wonder about the cardboard box it comes in. It's all cardboard inserts, isn't it? All cardboard inserts. Which means it can be. Oh. Recycled. Oh, yeah. It can be recycled, which is always Use, a good thing. Reuse, recycle. Exactly. Good job, Phillips, on that. We we, uh, we approve of the recycling, don't we? Yeah. Mm. Or we can do it Indeed. And inside the box itself, you get a lovely little carry carry bag thing here, which is pretty cool. Let's have a little explore, shall we? Should you gonna help with these these zips and things? Zippies. Inside here, 
There's um, things to put your DVDs maybe. It's all soft inside. Uh, and here is a the main thing, thing which has got a lovely little um, lovely little think? leather carry case. Let's turn that around so the people at home can see it on the main screen here. You're going to hold the bag for me and I'll lift it up. There we are. Okay. Put the bag out there for me please, cheeky parrot. Yes, there we are. And there is... You can call me daddy if you want, since I am your daddy. <laughs> Yay! Yay, there we are. So this is the screen now itself. It, I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. Um, so what don't you get, Cheeky Parrot? I don't get it, it's got loads of buttons. Got loads of buttons here? <laughs> well, to be fair, they're not too bad, these buttons. I don't know if you can see it on the main screen here. We've got a home button right there. We've got a back button, a left and right, up and down, and OK and an on-off button, which if you look on here, Cheeky Parrot, you have got the same. a home button, a menu button, an up, down, left, right, and an OK button, and an on-off button, which is pretty much the same, yeah? Yeah, but That's... why do you need an OK button? Because, as we can see on the video, which is on your screens right now, our video from the Gadget Show, we have oh, the face. Minutes. Okay. On your face, and um, we have lots of different menu buttons, don't we? Do you remember he shows the menus? And he, do you remember what he said about coloured walls? Yeah. What did he say? Can you remember? You can have white coloured walls. Mm -hmm. You can have different coloured walls. Yes, it has what they call a colour correction on this. So, a colour correction means it is correcting for the colours. <laughs> So what that basically means, ladies and gentlemen, is normally you put a projector onto a cinema screen, wouldn't you? Yeah? yeah? You don't need that with this. You can put it onto a white wall, which is perfectly mine. But what if you've got, say, a pink wall, you put it on the pink wall, you tell this that you're projecting onto a pink wall, it adjusts the colours on the film, so when it's on the pink wall, it looks like it should, instead of looking all pink. Or a yellow wall, or there's all different coloured things. And that's just one of the things, but that, I think that's quite a good little thing, don't you? Because you don't have to repaint your walls, or buy a cinema screen, or hang a sheet up, or something like that. Yeah, because you have different coloured walls. Indeed. As you can see from the Game Dad's basement, which we still haven't done up properly, it's quite messy, but we've got a yellow wall in the Game Dad's basement, and we've got a white wall upstairs in the main living room. So we can have a white wall, but when we're down here in the Game, game Dad's basement playing video games on this thing, yeah. when we're testing it out, we can set it to say it's got a yellow wall and the colours will look the same as it would if it was a white wall. It still work. What do you think? Magic! Is it a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, now here's the best bit. And I'm even gonna let Cheeky Parrot help me with this. Yay! It's the best bit of, of reviewing tech is taking the plastic wrap off. Right? This is this is your initiation, Cheeky Parrot. Yeah, you hold that and just just savour it. You ready? Nice and slow. Just save, save it. Feel it. Hear it. Oh, oh yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Did you enjoy that? Very quickly, we have got the main projector bit there. So this goes up against your walls here. That shoots upwards onto the wall as Cheeky Parrot is demonstrating and you get a huge, massive screen. You've bigger got- Bigger than me! Bigger than her. You've got um, a little idea of the kind of things it can do. Um, so there's your LEDs and your lights and things, 2D, 3D. It is 720p, which is a sticking point for some people because a lot of people have 1080p. But as we can um, demonstrate, which is why we bought this thing, um, it's actually really good, isn't it? Because we played FIFA the football game, do you remember? And it, did it look really nice and smooth? Mm -hmm. It wasn't jerky, was it, when we saw some they... TVs? Normally TVs go, you know, funny. Yeah, they do go all funny, don't they? But so, that is just nice and smooth on the, on the wall, just play around without it turning off. On, without it, turn off. It, it only turns off if it's charging. Yeah, exactly. Or if you unplug it, or if you turn it off. Exactly, which is the best thing. Which, uh, if you're playing a video game, you probably don't want to unplug your TV, really, do you? No. no. But enough about video games. Let's have a look around the back for all the tech nerds. This is the boring bit you don't like, isn't it? No. Yeah. Don't like what do you? Bits what do you? Boring. Don't you like wire bits? No. It takes ages to set up. We do this. 
Well, in some things, but this one's not too bad, look. So we have got, and um, Cheeky Parrot is going to point at them for me. Yep, sure. Um, if I can get in here. We have got USB. Mm -hmm. How many of those have we got? One, two. Two of them. We have got optical in, which is for um, sound. We have got the all important HDMI's. One, one, two. Yeah, we have got. One, two. What one? But what does that say above? Can you see? VGA. VGA, which is for a computer. We have got that, which is for the internet. Okay. And we have that, got audio. What does that say there? Audio out. Which you plug those into some external speakers, like we've got in the living room upstairs. AV in, which is sound in. I've um, got mini ones. Yeah, we've got it now. And also on the front. Oh, we'll show on the main screen here. On the front, we have got. We slide it down. Slides down, nice and smooth. I think it's, it's not dry, it's not plugged in. We have got uh, another um, headphone cable, another HDMI. We have got a micro, uh, a SD card slot, and we have got another USB slot. Um, so to plug in your external drives, all that kind of stuff, which is there, there, and there, there. So that is the Philips Screenio Short Throw Projector. Um, we were so impressed we got one ourselves. Yay! Uh, obviously, we're going to do some videos now, aren't we? Uh, about how to set it up yeah. and how to play on it. How to watch films and video games and photos and all sorts of stuff, aren't we? So yeah, do keep keep in touch for that. Um, you can follow me and uh, Cheeky Power to an extent on Twitter at Moobit, and we of course on YouTube. Our personal channel is at Moobit on YouTube. And there's some videos right here. Click them if you want to watch them, especially the first two. Yeah, they are pretty cool, aren't they? But we've got. If you want to see more about the screen, you see it in action. You see below, you can see the it in um, expo kind of um, environment, which should give you an idea what it's like in a pub or somewhere bright like that, which is pretty cool. And we'll back, be back in a couple of days, once we've had a little play with it, so we can give our true thoughts on it. What do you think? Yeah. Is that a plan? And I think 10 out of 10 would be 10. 10 out of 10 so far? So far, not, not completely, because we don't know about the screen bit. We don't know about the screen bit yet. Um, well, Definitely, that's just why we're getting to do well with one ourselves because we we're quite impressed, weren't we? Genuinely impressed. And as you know, long term subscribers of mine over the years on, on all the various websites I work for, I give an honest opinion. If I think something's rubbish, I'll say so, but I'll say the good points and I'll also give positive feedback, you know, especially if it's something that's not come out yet. I'm personally impressed by this. Uh, the 720p, yes, okay. Slight sticking point, but once you see the thing moving in real life, which I'd suggest you do if it's set up in, in Curry's or PC World or War, other high street stores are available, then you'll see what I mean. It's It looks fantastic, really. And that's it. Anything else? Um... Okie dokie. Well, I've been Moobit. I've been Cheeky Pirate. And we'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! Au revoir. I like to move it, move it, bit, 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 bit.